Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is another test of how to use Inkscape to create G code. Uh, we'll do we'll create some text, more tests, and I click off. And now I believe I can just go straight to paths. Let's zoom in here so we can see this path object to path. And you can see there's a red line around these objects as I roll over them. So if I hold down the shift key, I'll get these objects with paths. And why is that important? When I click on it, I can then modify this out a little bit to create different shapes on the path. Now, let's zoom out. And I'm going to highlight each one of these by holding down the shift key. And there's probably an easy way or easier way. Let me try control A. Control A also works. And at this point I can now run extensions, G code tools, and engraving. Now I'm going to use the output NGC going to the directory. Uh, numeric suffix so I can find it. Make sure it's on engraving when I am going to run this script because if you click apply on options you're not going to get the output. I'll show you what I mean. F5 to refresh and you'll see I just ran the or applied it but there's no new output file. In order to get the output file you have to click an engraving uh, which is a little bug in the software, in my opinion. You have to make sure you're in the engraving tab. Then you click Apply. And now, let's go back to our directory, F5 to refresh, and you'll see that the NGC2, or the output 2, is now there. Uh, let's go to our, let's go to our desktop. Minimize, minimize this. Okay, it's not working. Now, <clears throat> there's open scam, and click, click OK, and there's our green indicator of happiness. Now we go to our directory, and I'll open open scam again. Open, and now file open. I'll put NGC2, open, and now what we'll see, hopefully, yes, you can see it. Uh, we'll zoom in here a little bit to see where we have some, some changes in the cut. Now, these are very narrow lines, even though if you look at... If you look at the file, there is these distortions in the O, R, and the E, and we can see that in the O, and the R, and the E right here. So uh, this is uh, another quick demonstration of how you can use Inkscape to export G-code using the G-Code extensions, G-Code tools, extensions. Uh, frankly, the software is not being updated. Uh, it looks like it might be, hasn't been updated in a long time. I'm using uh, 1.7. I think that was probably the last version, and that was four years ago. Uh, so if you have other G-Code tools, or rather tools that use open source applications for creating G-code. I'd appreciate it if you share it with me. Thank you very much, and happy computing.